everyone. It's Paul Bertarelli reporting. I'm in the cockpit of a TBM 930 with Nicholas Chabert of Dyer. The thing about the 930 that's different is it has the uh, Garmin uh, G3000, which is a complete and probably the most sophisticated electronic stability protection system out there. And it's uh, in three components, correct, Nick? Let's talk about those three components, and then as we go forward here, we'll, we'll demonstrate them in flight. The three components, uh, Paul, that you got on the uh, uh, Garmin system is first, an electronic stability protection system, the ESP. That's basically what is going to keep you within the flight envelope. Anytime that you are above certain uh, roll or uh, pitch rate, it's going to try to bring you back by applying uh, against forces on the control. The second is going to be uh, the under speed protection. The under speed protection is going to keep you uh, within the minimum speed of the aircraft. Let's say stall speed of the TBM is 64 knots. It's going to keep you at 75 knots, plus or minus 2 knots. If it's uh, with only 10 degrees uh, flaps, it's going to keep you at 85 knots. And if it's a full clean, it's going to keep you at 95 knots. The good thing between the two systems is they are interconnected together. Let's take a look at how that interconnection works. First, the 930's ESP is always on whether the autopilot is on or not, although it can be intentionally disabled by the pilot. The ESP's bank protection activates when the bank angle exceeds 60 degrees. The roll servos push back against the pilot's input to right the aircraft. If the pilot persists for 10 seconds, the autopilot engages and writes the aircraft on its own. Irrespective of speed, the servos push back in pitch above 22 degrees pitch up and 17 degrees pitch down. If the aircraft speed exceeds VMO, and that's the maximum operating speed, the system will reduce pitch to slow it. For stall protection, and that's the underspeed part of the system, the ESP and autopilot intervene to maintain no less than 95 knots in a clean configuration and 75 knots in landing configuration. The system has a stick shaker to warn the pilot of an impending stall. The third part of the system is called EDM for Emergency Descent Module. If the ESP detects that the cabin pressure has climbed above 10,000 feet, it will alert the pilot with audible and visual alarms. If the pilot doesn't react, the autopilot will engage and make a 90 degree left turn and descend to 15,000 feet in a breathable atmosphere. When you start to use ESP, after 10 seconds, it will automatically turn the autopilot on. Yeah, so when I, uh, when I tried that, uh, if I paid attention to the indicator and rolled it smoothly back to within 30 degrees, that was the end of the event. But if I don't do that, the intervention is the autopilot kicks in and does it for me. Absolutely. And it, it tells me the autopilot's going on. It tells you the autopilot is going on, and obviously the underspeed protection is only going to take over when you are below safe speed to keep you in safe position, in safe flight conditions. Uh, now worth noting here is that we have a uh, angle of attack indicator that is in the uh, lower left under the uh, airspeed indicator and uh, that's constantly visible and what I like about it is it presents the information uh, in an analog fashion so, so you can see the gauge moving up which I like uh, and we also have uh, what's called a pitch limit indicator it looks like a little pitchfork and I'll show that in some b-roll here and explain what that uh, pitch limit indicator does well we go in very smooth sequence uh, first there is this application of the against forces as I was mentioning on the ESP as soon as you start to be in the minimum speed you have the first warning uh, with an oral warning then if you continue to go lower speed, you have a pitch indicator uh, limiter that is going to uh, provide you the best attitude that you, was, you need to seek in order to keep the speed uh, safer than where you are actually going to. So it, it's in fact the second level or second phase of the indication that is telling you that you are starting to be in that uh, uh, stall uh, near stall speeds before you actually enter the third phase which is actual stalls and you are in the 
red arc of the angle of attack. You have the uh, stick shaker that is also helping you physically detect what's going on with the aircraft. And uh, if you just continue, the system is kicking in with the under speed protection. Now, uh, worth mentioning here is we also have a level button which is uh, up on the pilot above the uh, up on the panel above the autopilot. You can use it anytime you want. At any time, if you feel that you are starting to be disoriented, or if your uh, co-pilot or uh, I would say passenger uh, is thinking that uh, you start to be uh, having some issues and the airplane is doing some weird stuff, the level button is in fact going to help you uh, keep the aircraft level until you do something else. Your left, he's just above you a little bit. That's TBM number one six six. I had researched the uh, TBM lost controls, and they're out there. So, is this system going to prevent them entirely? Do you think? Well, loss of control, unfortunately, is across the board in the general aviation, and the TBM is no strange to them. Unfortunately, this system is definitely going to save life. How many of these systems are out there now? We have uh, close to. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll be at uh, 54 out there, and we have a, re a retrofit campaign that is uh, going to upgrade 900s and uh, uh, late TBM 850s. So we are going to go way above 100 in a few months. All right, Nick, thanks for the demo. Well, thank you, Paul. Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.